Good afternoon on uh, yet another wet and windy day in the northwest of England. Uh, I thought I'd give you a kit inspection of my uh, winter kit and uh, use up a few of these grey murky hours. Uh, so let's have a look at the kit. That's pretty much all the layout there. I think I've got pretty much everything apart from any cameras, GoPro accessories, etc. So I'll run through it one by one. So we'll start off with my uh, four season tent there, which is the Southern Cross one and poles. That's the Terra Nova. I've got uh, carbon fiber, silver poles, same people that make the compasses. A fleece, a light down jacket, down pants, ice axe if required, Z light reflective, uh, it's the solar because it's got the reflective stuff on it uh, for underneath your sleep mat. Uh, sleep mat is the Thermarest Xtherm, pretty high, I think it's 6.9 R value. Uh, I've got two pillows because I like to sleep with my head uh, high up. In this case, uh, I've got thermometers. I normally have all my techie stuff in this uh, uh, th this little uh, clear bag because I can feel it at night. Even if I haven't got any lights on, I can feel where all my techie stuff is. This is a uh, th first aid kit. I've got a base layer for when you're going up, uh, wicks all the sweat away from your body. Mini Gators Gore-Tex. Uh, General Gubbins bag, I'll come back to that. Pea bottle, very lightweight, it's a used milk bottle. Poo spade, which you don't actually use for poo, you just use it for digging the hole. <laughs> and then covering it up. Uh, B3 filter bottle, which I've has never failed me. Uh, and I don't find you need to clean it with anything other than water. Uh, right. Um, black diamond head torch that will shine seventy meters on full beam. Uh, absolutely incredible, powerful light. Uh, my food, I normally just take a mug shot, some coffees, and some extra snacks, chocolate bars, crisps, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> On the stove front, I've got the Soto Windmaster. Absolutely ultra reliable, lightweight, and as it says on the tin, it's very good in the wind. I've never used it with a, any shield. I've got the Soto uh, Butane Lighter. Uh, ferrite Rod as a backup. The stove itself's got an igniter, so it's basically embalm, cremate, bury, as Winston Churchill said. <laughs> Take no chances. Uh, I like these. Nescafe instant coffee. That mocha one's really good. Alpkit titanium uh, cup and uh, a spoon. Uh, uh, collect uh, an assortment of pegs. Uh, most of the big pegs are the um, MSR uh, Groundhog absolutely brilliant peg and I got four of those eastern nails which are really good for boggy ground uh, they tend to bend if you whack them in with a hammer but the uh, groundhog pegs don't because they're like a girder three-sided I've got a uh, got a wind gauge Garmin inReach mini that gives me satellite uh, GPS I can send and receive text messages. 
and it links up with my phone, the app on my phone, so uh, people at home can know exactly where I am, and believe me, it's accurate. It's got an SOS button on it. If you get into real trouble or somebody else does, uh, then that uh, alerts the uh, rescue people. Um, I, I like it above any of the others uh, because it's got a screen. If your phone stops working, you can still type a message in um, on your uh, screen on your InReach Mini. It's an absolute pain in the bum, but you can do it. Uh, if it's icy, I've got these uh, Cthulhu micro spikes. They strap onto your boot like a pair of slippers. Really, really recommend them. They're like walking on a carpet on sheet ice. Um, Burkhouse fleece jacket. Um, Atom packs Atom. That's the 40 litre one, but believe you me, it takes a massive amount of stuff. Uh, it takes everything, everything I ever need to take, it goes in there. But the bag itself weighs under 500 grams. And I've got balaclava, another hat, a pair of gloves, a spare pair of socks. Uh, right, let's go over here. Uh, a full fill uh, down jacket by Alpkit. Normally I have two of these Exped uh, schnozzle bags. This is a big one, huge. I usually put my sleeping bag on that and it sucks all the air out and then compresses everything. It's really good for space saving. I've got a smaller one, which actually I recommend the big one's a bit too big. <clears throat> and uh, so that's about it I've got various uh, gubbins in here like toothpaste and hand warmers I'm not sure the environmental uh, uh, viability of those hand warmers uh, I tend not to use them if I can avoid it. They're chemically based. Uh, and a bit of extra bungee cord. More coffees, insect bites, and stuff. warmers. I'm not sure the environmental uh, uh, viability of those hand warmers. Uh, I tend not to use them if I can avoid it. They're chemically based. Uh, and a bit of extra bungee cord more coffees insect bite stuff a bit of toilet paper uh, earplugs definitely required on a windy night and uh, for the summer you probably don't need them in the winter, but I've got these tick removal tools which you uh, lift with a little scoop and then twist and pull them out. Anyway, not probably, you probably don't need them in the winter pack. So I think that's a winter it. gear spec um, video. And hopefully I can get out before too long. It's quite warm at the moment, but uh, it's horrible, windy and wet, which isn't good camping or mountaineering weather as far as I'm concerned. So, have a good one. Like and subscribe on Uncle Pete's Wild Adventures, and I'll see you on the next one as soon as possible on the hills.